back. Brent. Uh, yeah, Jen and Ben, Connecticut is not the only state dealing with this problem. Seven other states were affected by that recent hack on the vendor company Aplis Technologies. Last month, Aplis detected and stopped a malware attack, which temporarily interrupted the process of vehicle inspection and emissions testing in those eight states, again, including Connecticut. All other states have had their programs restored to normal operations except Connecticut, and that leaves drivers here wondering when this would all get resolved, when they could get their cars tested again. One auto shop we spoke with in Manchester says customers have been waiting for some kind of progress in this situation, and the shop is also waiting to get those back, the customers back into their business too. Well, it does impact uh, a lot of customers. Um, we used to have about 50 cars a day just from emissions to come in, and now uh, that that's not happening. Uh, we still deal with a lot of people that are walking in continually asking for their missions and a lot of phone calls as well. So Aplis says it's making headway on restoring emissions testing in Connecticut. They have set a deadline. The company expects to have full service restored uh, for our state's program no later than April 30th. So what if you're among those drivers who've been waiting to get your car tested? Well, the DMV says it is still offering free retests for those vehicles who could not get their free retest during the outage. Uh, drivers won't have to pay a late fee if they were supposed to get their emissions tested and could not during that period of time. If you have to register a vehicle that requires an emissions test, the DMV has made temporary provisions to allow newly, uh, new vehicle registrations without the required test. When the system gets back up and running, you will have to go get it tested as soon as possible, though, to ensure your car meets the state's emission standards. Brent Harden, Fox 61 News. Jen, Ben, back to you guys.